In this video, I'm going to show you how the composition and full composition nodes work. I've already prepared my scene. I right click, select Create Node, and search in Terrain Composition for the Composition node. And here's the result we get. This node works quite simply. It takes the two terrains and multiplies them using the two multiplier coefficients of each of the terrains. I can play with these two coefficients to create a combined result of the two input terrains. Now let's go to the full composition node, which works exactly the same except that it includes additional options, such as translation, scale, and rotation. So far I've only combined terrains of similar sizes, but you can do the same thing by combining smaller terrains with larger ones, for example. This is what I'm about to show you here. I'll just make some minor last minute adjustments, like this. The translation, scale and rotation options are important because they allow you, for example, to create a specific point of interest on your terrain and to place it where you want on a more generic landscape. Let's see the full composition node in a graph a little more complex and see what kind of result we can get. Uh, particularly the variation with just two Perlin noise input terrains. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon for the next tutorial.